Hello guys, hope you are doing well. In our previous video, we have created this setup where we scatter points only on the creases of an object. So in case if you have missed it, you can go back and check the link in the description. Let's move on to today's topic, which is scatter by distance from the camera. To do this, we have created this camera as well. We can, we can go and uh, view from the camera view and go inside this. I have pre-made some models here so there is a basic city and there is a road and we are merging it together to get this so here we are going to scatter points based on the distance from the camera so that we have more points here and we have less points here so if you remember we have already made a video like how to scatter objects sorry scatter points around an object I'll quickly show you that yeah here like this we have an object and we are scattering around that object we are going to use the exact same method but this time we are going to scatter around the camera so let's see how to do that for this I'm just going to use the grid I am not going to display this so here let's create an attribute create attribute name it as density let's start with zero we don't have any uh, density in the in the road right now and we want the density to be high where the camera is there here is the camera and we want the density to be higher around this area and we don't want anything over here we need to import the camera's location into this network so that we can use it and uh, calculate the distance to do that let's create an object merge here and go back uh, if you go inside the camera you can find this camera origin so you just copy this by pressing ctrl c and go back into the scatter and paste this here so once you do that you will basically you will have nothing but the camera point is here you just need to change this into this object so once you do that you will have the camera point where the camera is actually located so this is how you import the camera point and once you have this then it becomes very easy you just copy the attribute create and just change the value to one so we have value of 1 in this camera point and we have value of 0 in this uh, road. Now going to attribute transfer this attribute this density attribute from the camera to the grid and let's visualize this. So as you can see it's transferring it but the distance is too far. So let's let's select the attribute here first to make sure other attributes are not being transferred and go to the conditions here and adjust the distance threshold uh, we can use this attribute to scatter the points let's enable this and there you go and this is how you can scatter points based on the distance from the camera and also you can adjust the blend width to have it more more better fall off like this that's it for this video Learning little tricks every day like this is one of the easiest way to learn Houdini. If you wish to learn more in easy way, hit that subscribe button so that you receive my videos as soon as I publish. Hope you find this useful. If you want in-depth tutorial of any of these topics, you can always let me know in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching. Have fun.